Hello, Facebook. Hello, Facebook Live. Hello, YouTube. However you're catching us. Um, what's happening, everybody? It is Thursday, and it is a, on a, a beautiful day out. I've been working outside most of the day. I've been um, left at 6 or 6.30 this morning to go get some um, more landscaping items for the back of the restaurant here. We are doing some modifications behind the restaurant uh, that are going to be really cool and exciting. Got the dogs with me today. Uh, they're back here. There's Baxter. Um, Barolo's back there and Zeus is there. Um, that right there's our waterfall that I'm building, that I'm in the process of building. Uh, that's one thing I've been working on here uh, in the backyard for a few days now. Um, let's see. Um, restaurants get to open this Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday. Restaurants get to open for outdoor seating here in the Hudson Valley. Super exciting. Upstate New York, they did it today in Rochester. Uh, today, restaurants are open for outdoor dining. That's exciting. Restaurant, uh, Rock, Rock, Rochester, Buffalo, up, up, up in that area. They are rocking and rolling, so that's really exciting. If you're watching live, drop a comment, hashtag live. If it's on the replay, hashtag replay. Um, so what's going on? Um, in general here, um, we are still rocking and rolling with the grocery store, our 999 daily specials. Today is burger day, 999. Our burgers are now bigger and they come on a pretzel bun and we lowered the price. Um, so that's exciting. Um, let's see. So next Tuesday, you'll be able to legally sit out here in the garden and eat, uh, on our sidewalk as well. Next Tuesday, starting next Tuesday, you'll be, that's great news. Up in, I've made I've made several videos um, to this point where it's not allowed. Uh, as of right now, you cannot sit out in my backyard and eat, even if you brought your own food back here and sat down. New York State does not want that happening right now. But as of Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, we can start doing that. That's great news. I ordered patio heaters. I got the waterfall here. Um, I'm moving some tables around because there's still there's still some regulations that we have to follow. It's just not a free for all. I have to, you know, tables are spread out six feet apart. Um, you as a guest have to have a mask on when you're any, anywhere in the restaurant besides in your seat. That's the, that's the, that, that is the rule that they're telling us we have to follow. So, um, of course, you can't eat with your mask on, but when you walk in the door, you have to have your mask on. When you get go to your table, you can finally take your mask off. That's supposedly how that's going. Um, although some states... Uh, no masks, uh, nothing, and the state and the restaurants are packed. Alabama, Florida, um, a lot of states, restaurants are packed, rocking and rolling. Um, so New York State's going to have some stricter regulations uh, than a lot of these other states. I want to talk about Im immunity today. Uh, really important thing about immunity, and uh, because a lot of people will be going out. Some people won't be going out. Some people are still scared. Uh, so whatever your view is, whether you're anxious to get out and, you don't, and you're not as concerned or you're very, 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 very concerned and you still don't want to go out, I understand all the spectrums. I understand both points and everything in between. I understand we see a lot of people that walk in the door here to pick up groceries and pick up food. And some of you are like, there's no way I want to wear a mask. And others are saying, uh, bring my food out to me curbside and um, my windows are up. And when you come out, I will um, open the door for you and get it in and get it. And I want to get out of here. So I understand both points and it's perfectly fine. That's your right. Um, but a lot of you are going to want to come out. And of course, and some of you are gonna to wanna to come out that aren't that comfortable and you're gonna to wanna to take uh, certain precautions. So I'm gonna talk about that today, taking precautions. Um, I'm actually filling the pond up right now. So the dogs are just sitting there, uh, the hose is there. I'm filling the pond up. Um, we're gonna put fish back there and we'll put um, you know some plants and stuff around. I still have a lot of work to do on the pond. It's not by any means um, ready to rock and roll. I still have got to do a lot of work. I have another full day of work out here to do. Hopefully I'll be able to have some staff member help me today. Um, my allergies, I'm gonna sneeze. Um, so, excuse me. Jamie's going out to make a delivery right now. We do deliver groceries and food, so if you need a delivery, let us know. Um, they have to be prearranged. Uh, you just can't call and say, hey, deliver some, some groceries to me today in Middletown. It has to email. Um, Jamie's taking actually a really big order out right now, so um, she's been packing it for a while, it's, and some people just came to pick up some groceries. And excuse me if I sneeze. Um, so, some precautions to take, um, or how to how to um, live better right now. 
and I've talked about this before. There's two types of, there's two, I'm gonna talk about the difference between herd immunity and natural immunity. Those are two different types of immunity, natural immunity and herd immunity. And we hear people keep saying um, herd immunity, herd immunity, herd immunity. Folks, natural immunity is even better, all right? Natural immunity, okay? This, so herd immunity is the mentality of, of, of everybody gets exposed. Um, a lot of times, the definition of herd immunity is that people get exposed through, the, through vaccines or through the spread of, of, of a disease. Um, and then where it becomes, and then it goes around, and all of a sudden we hopefully all have resistance to it because we've been exposed to this. Um, natural immunity is where you actually honor and take care of your immune system. And you eat the right foods, you take the right supplements, you have, you have the right lifestyle to, when you get exposed to things, you fight them off. Um, that's natural immunity. Natural immunity is um, is what a lot of a lot of people, um, alternative health people, health people that are healthy, want to um, want to achieve. We all know that our immune systems are the key to our health. We all know that, and we're not stupid. We know that eating cheese fries and, and eating all kinds of junk and all kinds of sugary foods and soda, especially soda for breakfast. There's a ton of people that drink soda for breakfast. I've, I've seen it so many times, especially working in the restaurant industry, working breakfast shifts with a lot of other cooks, they're drinking soda in the morning. And it's just like, oh my gosh. You see kids walking around town eating nachos and uh, Doritos and, 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 and little, little soda in the morning, walking around town and in schools. Uh, when I used to teach at Sullivan County Community College as an adjunct teacher through the culinary program, um, same thing. Kids show up nine o'clock in the morning with with, with 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 soda, literally with soda. But even if they're not drinking soda, you're drinking, you're eating danishes and donuts and white flour and sugar and and these sugary creams and all this kind of stuff. And this is this is killing your immune system. This is totally killing your immune system. Lots of fresh air, water, good vitamins, good food. We all know the difference between cheese fries um, and vegetables cheese fries and a baked potato. We all know the difference between this. So um, your goal, your goal is, to, and our goal here at the restaurant is to serve healthier food. Healthier food that tastes great. This healthy food does not need to taste bad. Healthy food can taste, can taste, can taste fantastic. Uh, there are a lot of alternatives you can put into food that, that are natural, organic, healthy, um, and taste great where you don't have to rely upon foods that are denatured, chemicalized, pasteurized to the max, um, mutated, genetically modified. You don't, you don't need those foods in your diet. You can still eat a very healthy diet and eat very um, healthy, nutritious, and flavorful foods. And that's always been our goal here at the restaurant for the last 18 years since we opened was serving food that had healthier guidelines, healthier, uh, more nutrition, um, better for you. And that all came because of my health um, um, revolution back in 1999, 2000, when I lost a lot of weight, when I got rid of my asthma, when I got rid of all, all the meds in, in my diet, my high blood pressure, my high cholesterol, all this stuff, w went away because I changed my diet. And then the challenge was, how can I take these foods that I'm eating at home now, because I would go to work, and when I worked for other restaurants and country clubs, I, w I wouldn't eat the food that I was serving to the guests. It, it, I wouldn't eat it, because I knew how bad it was. I knew what it was doing for me at um, um, being working in the restaurant industry for so long. I, I knew it, I, I saw it firsthand. And when I changed my diet, all these ailments, all, all these things were going away. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, chronic fatigue was going away, acid reflux, all these things were just going away. My asthma went away, and um, the challenge was how can I the food that I'm cooking for myself at home and then bring in my lunchbox to I mean to, to work. All the cooks, all the places I work knew, hey, this is Marcus's food on this shelf. This box here, this food, this is Marcus's food. This doesn't go to the guests. This this is this is the stuff Marcus brought in because Marcus cares about what he eats. And I didn't want to do that anymore. I wanted to be able to serve that kind of food to everybody and have everybody appreciate it. So that's why we opened the restaurant and that's why we do what we do. So excuse me. Ah. Uh, So your goal, if you're especially, especially if you're going to be going out and you're in slight and concerned about, about your health, honor your immune system, eat healthy foods. You know the difference. You want natural immunity. You want your body, you want your immune system strong. When you become exposed to something, you automatically able to fight it off, build the antibodies and keep going on your way. Natural immunity is the key here, folks. Natural immunity. All right. Not getting injected and all these other things and, and natural immunity is the best. All right. So now that I said that, um, hopefully we'll see you out here on Tuesday. 
um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, any day next week that we're open. Um, tables will be moved farther apart. I'm taking some of the gardens out there and I'm flipping the beds and pushing them up more against the fence so I have more room for tables so we can go six feet, more six feet apart. I have tables by the fire pit spread around there. Um, I have tables in front. I have, I'll have tables on the side of the building. Um, I'll have a beautiful waterfall back here that you can sit, great ambience. So we're spreading things out. I don't think by Tuesday I'll have the patio done. I'm getting rid of the pea pebble here, and the goal is to put pavers down and do a nice patio. I don't know if I can get that done by Tuesday because uh, I'd be the one doing it. So, but a lot of other stuff will be getting um, uh, will be uh, will be getting done. So super 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 exciting, um, and um, I'll give you a sneak peek at the pond there. So, um, it's a 300 gallon. Um, trough, like a, 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 a livestock trough um, that I've built up a paver wall and then I have the, the a rock waterfall and the rock, the rock rock waterfall is just in place so it's not even nearly being done. I just wanted to like set it out and see how it would look. I have to go in there and secure everything down and um, make it look pretty. Uh, Pat says, are you still doing groceries? Yes, I am still, we're still doing groceries. Jamie's actually on her way out delivering right now some groceries. So we're still doing groceries and come in and pick up. The list is still out. We'll still be doing groceries once this whole thing ends. Um, we'll still be doing groceries. So um, that's still going to be happening. It's a large part of our business right now. So we'll still be doing that. Uh, hey, Sammy. You got a couple minutes? Okay, excellent. Just finishing up a Facebook Live. We're getting a wine delivery right now. So, uh, yeah, folks, that's it. Zeus. There's uh, Courtney's dog, Zeus. Um, I went and saw the kittens today. The kittens are doing fantastic. Uh, that was the cat who was back here in the um, in the yard that she gave birth uh, in Co Courtney's house last week uh, on Sunday. All the kittens are spoken for. Mom still needs a good home. We're six weeks out from that as still. Uh, as still. Um, and um, this Saturday night, we're doing a cocktail tasting, uh, cocktail tasting hangout with uh, Black Infusions Fig Vodka and their Apricot Vodka. We're making cocktails. You come and get the kits. They're $25 a person. You get Prosecco. You get all the mixers. Michael Davidson, I think, who's on now, I, I believe, um, is saying that... Um, is saying that uh, he, he's he's on he's the owner of Black Infusions Spirit Company Vodka Company. He'll be online with us talking about the cocktails. We'll have a musician online. It's really cool. It lasts about an hour, hour and a half. Um, so um, that's um, that's going to be great. This that's a Saturday. You can come pick up the kits are ready to pick up here. Pick them up until Saturday eight o'clock. You can pick them up until Saturday eight o'clock. So that's a great. Um, Pat is saying New York is trying to mandate, um, vaccines. Yeah, they are trying to mandate vaccines. A lot of, a lot of states, a lot of places, a lot of countries are trying now to mandate. Um, the problem is, um, with this mutating virus, it's hard to get a vaccine that would actually even work, um, in these circumstances. And the CDC and the WHO have all said that, you know, the vaccine, the virus mutates and mutates and mutates. That's why every year there's a new flu, flu vaccine, because it's mutated from the year before and we're on to the next season. We're on to something different. So again, of course, new flu, I don't want to get too much in the vaccines on this channel. Um, but that is the challenge with vaccines is, um, you know, um, there's a lot, a lot of challenges with the vaccines. So, um, eat healthy, uh, honor your immune system, Build natural immunity, natural immunity, natural immunity, natural immunity. Eat right. Um, so uh, that's that's all that. That's all that's that's all today, folks. I am gonna get on a bike ride. Um, another beautiful day for a bike ride, and I got some more work to do out here. And um, there's Barolo now, and there's Baxter. If you can see them, Barolo's right here. <laughs> So, Barolo is indeed named after the wine Barolo. Um, he was named after that. I guess our next dog will have to be Barbaresco. Um, these were my parents' dogs. Uh, my parents have both passed away within the last year and a half, and uh, so these are their two border collies. Uh, they're here with us some days in the office next door. Uh, they live with Courtney, our daughter. She's the one who they officially live with, and that's her dog, Zeus. Um, so, um, all three are boys, 12, 12, three, and 12, three, and six years old are their ages. So they all get along very, very, very well. And uh, that's it, folks. Talk to you later. Hope to see you soon. Really hope to see you out in the back garden. Uh, and hopefully I'll get all my projects done back here before Tuesday. All right, folks. Talk to you later.